the Z has many realities, but mostly it's kind of a community where people try to experiment other ways to live their social and political life. In the end of the uh, 1960s, somebody came up with an airport project for this area of Notre Dame des Landes. And during all those years, the bocage itself is put under the stages of Z, which basically means postponed planning zone, which we will transform one day to zone to be defended. So there was a big resistance with lots of different forms of action, including sabotage, black bloc demonstrations, quite uh, offensive defense. Occupying land is quite similar to political squat, but with a strong dimension regarding the environment and the territory we live in. During all those years, we did not simply organize politically against the airport, but we also made connections locally. Uh, we took care of the land. Some of us settled for good, uh, and we thought the future of the Z together. So it's been 10 years now that structures have been created on the Z to figure out how to live as autonomously as possible. It necessarily means that we have to be able to answer our basic needs like be fed, sleep under a roof, have access to medicine. It's a place that has become a place where you can live for free, you can build your house, your cabin. The occupation movement was created at a time where some of the peasants uh, had called for illegal occupation themselves. When squatters came in 2007, they were close to anarchist and or anti-authoritarian ideas. Trying to work together, and allowing for a diversity of tactics and knowing that that is our strength for fighting against uh, this state and this project. Also, we come here, we fight against things, but we also try to create things together and making things available, trying to share that everybody has possibilities and access to a place to live, to water, food. So there's a kind of a hegemonic uh, ideology. Uh, diversity of tactics has been much more of a theory for the past few months. Certain ideas that become ways of judging people, of excluding people from discussions. So yeah, there's some kind of really well-organized or sort of communist ideas that have taken a lot of place in the past few years that will have a, a kind of a discourse about uh, you have to go to our meetings and if you don't agree you might have to leave or shut up or maybe later on we'll come uh, beat you up with baseball bats. Some people who use sabotage as a tactic have been pressured on and even attacked for having digged holes in the concrete of one of the roads uh, which crosses the Z. And someone especially was put in a trunk and taken out of zone molested and left almost naked in front of a psychiatric hospital. And it's been some years that contesting this hegemonic power of the dominant group is much more difficult. They tend to concentrate wealth, to concentrate strategic uh, discussions regarding the movement, bonds with local farmers and people governing other associations uh, of the movement. And they, of course, uh, deny it when it comes to critique. Uh, we provoked a number of discussions on the place that the movement group called the CMDO uh, was holding among us. But they never recognized publicly their group as a group of power and thus never wanted to share that power with other groups or individuals. It is mainly this group of persons uh, which pushed towards the negotiations during the evictions. Well, as you can see all around us, it's pitch black. People were not expecting the expulsions to happen until 6 a.m. this morning, local time here in France. Tiny groups of people chose their means of actions. When the police attack, uh, making barricades, going to harass the police in any form, any way, to uh, throwing back their own grenades or other forms of explosives. 
explosives, uh, Molotov cocktails. From sabotage attempts, um, especially on the tanks, uh, we really wanted to see one burn. Uh, digging holes to prevent the tanks from going further. Uh, and of course, erecting barricades and defend them. 